Hi, I'm Kane. Welcome to Workout 2 of the Shape Up for Summer 12 Week Body Transformation Challenge. Today, we're going to be working on shoulders, thighs, and trots. These are the beach muscles, Kane, so you're going to get a lot of good from it. This is going to be the first exercise for Workout 2 the incline dumbbell hammer curl. Sounds technical, but it's not really. The first thing that we need to do is adjust the incline to position number five using the pin loader mechanism. From here, we can get our dumbbells and seat ourselves with our bottom as far back into the bench as possible with contact from your lower back right way up to your head. Important to rest your head against the backrest in this exercise. From here, it's important to think of our elbow as a pivot point. So we're simply bringing the dumbbell up towards our shoulders without letting our elbows raise. And repeat, from the dumbbell at its highest position towards your shoulder, let the dumbbell fall towards the floor in a controlled fashion. Slow, controlled movements, time under tension. Close grip, dumbbell press. What we need here is a flat bench. Once you have a bench in a flat position, you're gonna lie down with contact points from your bottom, lower back, middle back, all the way up to your head. From your head to your bottom needs to be making contact with the bench. From here, the dumbbells are positioned in line with the middle of your chest. You're gonna press the dumbbell up towards the ceiling until your arms are fully extended. On the downward phase, you're going to make sure that your elbows graze past your chest to below the height of the bench with the dumbbell finishing in your armpit again. Z bar bicep curls. What we do here is really important. When we're loading a Z bar, we need to make sure that when we put the weights on one side of the bar, we're simultaneously putting the weights on the other side. What will happen if you don't? is that you'll load one end of the bar and it'll actually flip over. So, in the exercise itself, we need to stand with our feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Our elbow again functions as a pivot point as we bring the bar up towards our shoulders without letting our elbows lift. From the top of the range of movement, we then let the bar slowly extend down before repeating. Slow control movements, time under tension. Cable overhead tricep extensions. This exercise brings us back to the cable machine. We need to make sure that the cable machine is positioned so that the pulley is starting from above our head. We apply the rope to the pulley with the rope above our head. You take a long stride forward, still, with our hands in a position above our head, abdominals activated, chest high, and again our elbow functions as a pivot point as we extend our arms out all the way until just before our elbows lock, and then let the pulley pull the rope back above our head before repeating. Seated dumbbell shoulder press. What we need is an adjustable bench. Adjust the seat to its utmost position. From there, we'll get dumbbells before sitting ourselves into the bench with our bottom pressed firmly against the backrest. Here, we bring the dumbbells to just above shoulder height and then press the dumbbells upward toward the ceiling where our arms fully extend before our elbows lock out. Hold before letting the dumbbells slowly return to just above shoulder height. Plate shrugs. What we need are plates heavy enough to challenge ourselves in a relatively small range of movement. The starting point of the exercise is feet slightly wider than hip width apart. We need our arms extended before shrugging our shoulders up to its highest point before driving our shoulders back and towards the floor. And repeat, it's a slow controlled movement. Shoulders up, 
to its highest point, driving back slightly and back to its starting position. Cable straight up pull downs. First thing, we need to get the straight bar. You'll likely find the straight bar attached to the lap pull down machine. Remove it, bring it across to the cable machine and attach it to its highest point in the pulley. We're going to adjust the weight and now we can start the range of motion. Holding the straight bar, we're going to start with the straight bar in alignment with the top of our shoulders before bringing our arm down towards our thigh, slow and controlled. Holding it, the bar resting against our thigh before returning the bar to in line with shoulder height. Remember the count, two, 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 and two. We're going to get tired of it. Time under tension. Okay guys, that's your summer guns all tuckered out. So let's give your upper body a rest and get ready to work those legs. I'll see you in the gym.